Sunrise, every story has a beginning, with or without recognition, and in the Imperial Valley, the journey is underway for a group of young men strapping on their football helmets, and they want their presence known. I take you behind the scenes with how one man is building a culture from the ground up. Let me, I guess I'll start here. A work day beginning as early as the sun comes up, ending well after the sun goes down. That's a day in the life for Enrique Ruiz. Some Fridays not clocking out until after 7 p.m., but that's not where the buck stops for this West Coast native living with his family in Calexico. Instead, a nightcap on the dirt and grass at a local park, followed by countless hours on his home computer. I don't go to bed today till about probably 2 or 3 in the morning. Ruiz prolonging his day on his own time to pursue something dear to his heart, fulfilling his lifelong passion of coaching football. So, just got off work, uh, had some liquid dinner, um, went over some, printed out some plays and play cards that we're going to be running today, and basically I'm just go for a quick little coffee run and head out to practice. Upon his arrival to the field, there's a group of young men waiting for him, a group dedicated to representing their home roots, the Imperial Valley Sentinelas. So, Imperial Valley Collegiate Football, Imperial Valley Sentinelas, um, was created to give kids across the valley the opportunity to continue to play football. A lot of kids don't have the chance to play JUCO, let alone NCAA Division One, Two, or Three, and yet there's still a lot of talent here. S10, S10. But in this case, it's not at the high school or formal collegiate level. Unknown to many, there lies a special football league out of Mexicali for independent clubs. And the Sentinelas fit in that picture, planted right in the backyard of Imperial County. Committed young men whose love for the sport stands strong, longing for another taste of the gridiron. I know when I got out of high school, I was lost and didn't know what to do. So I want to believe that this facilitates the process of getting out of college but still maintaining some sort of consistency after you've been playing football for eight, ten years. The Sentinelas entered just their second season taking part in the Baja Calor American Football Organization, a league which provides competitive football for those out of high school who don't play college ball. Ruiz working to build a culture where any kid from the Valley feels like they have a home, although it was not an easy selling point at first. With the lack of recognition, Ruiz has used the power of social media to build a squad from nothing. The chance to play together. You know, my biggest, my biggest preach is, is our motto, one valley, one team. Well, ever since I've been saying that, you know, guys really buy into that, you know. And one of those who bought into the opportunity early on in year one was Daniel Bejarano, part of 2021's inaugural team that finished with only 12 players. But with a large jump in numbers ahead of the 2022 season, there may be a light at the end of the tunnel. What's special about this group of guys is like, every, it's like everyone in the Valley comes, comes and joins to be one team now. So now we got people from Imperial, Brawley, Calexico, All Central. So it's like, it's like an almost an all-star team that everyone could come here and play together now. The Sentinels are truly a home for these athletes who may not have a spot on a college roster, but they all have one common goal. to bring home a championship. I expect every year, like, the mentality should be championship, 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 and hope every year we can meet that expectation. One of their biggest drives is of them being here is, is playing together and representing the Valley as one. And then the other one is they want a championship too. For many of them, it may be their last chance to ever win some kind of title, making it that much more special. This means everything. Having Valley on my chest means everything. I, repre I represent the Valley, and so does all these guys here. I'm just happy to play the sport I love. Again, wheel coach, we everything. He's giving us the ability to play the sport we love again. He's giving us like, like a second chance to play again. And still, it's not all about winning that championship. For Ruiz, it goes much deeper. The chance to mentor these kids, not just about football, but about life. You know, I, I really, really preach these kids about work ethic, um, accountability, um, respecting their, their parents, listening to their parents, you know, doing a good job outside of football. One valley, one team, a family on the field built from the ground up. This is my family outside of my family, you know. Um, it just, I've, I've been doing this for so long, I can't imagine my life without doing it. For those of you that can't coach high school football because of work or personal reasons, you have a home here. For those of you that can't play juco ball, you have a home here because 
We're here for you. One, two, three. And as for the name of the team, Ruiz says the Sentinelas brings it all full circle, pointing to the Mount Sentinella, which can be seen all across the valley, making it a good representation of who they are. And their new season kicks off in early September. And that